You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Suits After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Suits After Show. There it is. See, it's it's like no matter what your day is like, I as know. soon as you yeah, hear the Suits theme song, Thank you have help. to smile and helps. start that grooving. Helps. That definitely helps. It does. Has anyone been on the Suits SoundCloud? No, no. there's a sound. Somebody makes a SoundCloud of all the soundtracks of every episode. Oh my god! And I just gave them a hardcore plug right now. Oh my god! There's a SoundCloud. Yeah, that's SoundCloud. amazing. It's been definitely. in my notes for like three weeks. So yeah, definitely checking that out. Yeah. Hey guys, it's the Suits After Show. If you haven't already told, been told <laughs> right now, like it's pretty obvious. It's season four, episode nine, gone. Yeah. I am Tiana Hobson, and I have two amazing co-hosts sitting across the table from me. Hey, you guys, it's Stacey Ike and Steve Kaufman. And we are down one, Lauren, but she will be back with us next week. Yep. So with her lit up mug. With her lit up mug. Yes. That is amazing. Yeah. And super relevant <laughs> um, especially for today exactly. okay so a lot 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 happened yeah. so much happened mm. in last night's episode that i was almost like wow what's their left they, for, that's, what's I, left for the last every, episode every end of a season you always think the second to last might as well be the last yeah, yeah. that every it's it's pretty good it's just like so much is this, it could have ended right here really, really you know what? i would have been you're, like okay that's you keeping me. i can't wait for next year yeah yeah Okay, exactly. I don't know what's happening. All right, so let's get this part over with. We're going to talk about Mike and Rachel. I <laughs> get this let's, part. <laughs> all right. So I felt, this is just me personally, okay. that the first scene we see them in when Rachel's running through the kitchen, getting dinner ready, mm. or, you know, cleaning up after Mike, and Mike's like, I don't need you to do all this right mm -hmm. now. Is she overcompensating right now? A little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Okay, I, it wasn't just me being a Rachel hater. Is, no. My note is literally, they're not going to fight? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark, <laughs> exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Yeah. Mine was, how long is this going to last, Rachel? Like, how long do you feel like you have to overcompensate before he actually forgives you? I mean, yeah. how long will you wash the dishes or buy unnecessary burritos or whatever? How long is that going to last? I was kind of... Yeah, and I know that they do get into it, you know, later on when Mike's yeah. prepping her for the deposition and everything and, yeah. you know, feelings mm -hmm. come out. Terrible idea. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Horrible idea. Like, thanks, Harvey. Harvey. Just, what the heck? Yeah. 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 But maybe that was Harvey's way of kind of, like, making the conversation happen. I hate it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was like, dang, Harvey, you know better. But, I mean, I just felt like if you already have gotten to the point of, like, hey, I want you to come home, and Mike finally comes home, and she gave him the ultimatum last week, it was like, can you forget what, I forget how she phrased yeah, it, but it was like, you do you decide, hate me more yeah, than, if you, you know, love me more than you hate what I do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So after that ultimatum, I feel like if you come back to the house, yeah, things might be a little off, but her doing this makes it very, it makes it very like in the front line that it's off, right, that right. something's off in their relationship right. still, instead of it just kind of being like, let's find a way to get back to normalcy. Or, like, let's right. act like that didn't happen. Right, yeah. Right. And then like, because that's that's normally what my family would do with issues is just like let's just act like that didn't, yeah. didn't that didn't happen. Because at the end of the day, if he's coming back, I feel like a spade's a spade, and you're supposed to blank canvas, right. start over from scratch from right. that moment yeah. on. Because it's like I'm not going to bring up the past anymore, right. and we're mm. going to move forward. And but not like look we back. said last week, they didn't have the conversation. They did the cute nod. And what does that mean? So I was expecting it. I didn't expect it was, in that way. I was expecting a blow up yeah, the second they got home. The truth was, is, yeah. they didn't have a real conversation. So I just feel like him coming home, cool. But you need to make sure she knows, like we're not necessarily fixed. I just want to, you know, work towards yeah. something. I, so. I want to still be with you. Yeah. But there are major issues here. There's, mm -hmm. There really are. And she, I mean, she threw Tess back in his face after how long? So it's <laughs> like, I don't feel like they can either let something go like that. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting interesting to see. But even Mike, when, you know, she gives him the hug, it's like, oh, I'm so happy you're home. And his face his was just kind of like, like, why did yeah. I get back in? I was <laughs> like, Mike, why are you looking like this? I thought yeah. you were good. And when, he, when I saw that face, that's when I was like, okay, we are 
gonna get a fight. Yes. Yeah. Or a yeah. little bit of a fight yeah. because Mike's not done with this one yet. Yeah. So then we move into, you know, him prepping her for the deposition and it starts off as friendly fire, but I think right. everyone knew where this was yep. gonna yeah, that's go. As soon as he asked that sexual relation question, I was like, whoa! And then he just What's kept, le- and then he kept leading with the questions. And it was like, oh, he's just using this as an excuse. The thing is, I was really disappointed though the way he did it. It was a l- way too aggressive. If you want to have the conversation, have the conversation. It was too passive. There was no need to use that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You could have just said, let's have a talk. Instead, he's asking her questions that have nothing to do with what's going to happen with the case. But then again, I think I, kind of did. Yeah, it kind of did. He Not did have the sexual it was a relations with sword. her. What with Logan? It was necessary. It would have been necessary for that, but he should have already had a knockdown drag him out fight with her. Yeah. He should have found a better way to have this conversation. Yeah. I agree because I think that as soon as she started answering those questions, he he got her tongue tied and yeah. any good lawyer was gonna go down that path of like, Oh, well now you're saying that you were sleeping with both guys right. and now it really looks guilty of right. Mike, you know, of this collusion whole collusion and everything. And everything. Yeah. So I think that he was on the right path, just his execution of the questioning is what yeah. was a little bit off with it. Yeah. But I think even Rachel has to admit, like, any good lawyer would have gone down that road as soon as she answered the other questions. Right. I agree with that. I just didn't like how he was like, I mean, okay, okay, I get it. Now that you're saying, you know, if you're sleeping with two guys and you're sleeping with people who are in a fight together, then I get that. But when Rachel first responded, he's not going to ask me that. I really felt for her because it was just so intense. And I'm thinking, Michael, I need you to back down a little bit. So I don't know. Yeah. You were like, no. <laughs> well, no, I needed them to have this conversation. Yeah, but, I yeah. agree with that. And also, she should learn to love that man's burritos. Burritos, <laughs> burritos are an excellent source of protein. <laughs> energy. He's like, you Just hate everything. them. I'm like, who hates burritos? Well, who hates but, burritos? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess... You know, she's got to fit in those pencil skirts. So That's um, true. Her, <laughs> her and Donna. Donna probably don't eat. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, but I will say that in that scene, I was very, I felt a little bad for Rachel, especially when she did that one tear cry mm-hmm. thing. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, like, like, Megan Markle, you're killing me right <laughs> now with I that tear. I was like, I just need, I said, Megan, girl, <laughs> I get this all over my. <laughs> I was at work sneaking this episode, girl. But not have me looking crazy. Looking. And she did. Yeah, she did. She did. And I was like, her. kudos to Megan because yes. that was hands down. I, yes. I loved that scene. I loved yes. her little monologue and that, her apology. I agree. And, I agree. And and that one tear, because anyone who can just cry one tear exactly. on demand. It's like, she's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that was good. Girl. I mean, I catch myself sometimes if I'm actually crying and like a one tear thing go, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm doing it. I'm right. like, Holly uh, Berry I crying. Did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I made I'm a choice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. What's next for me? Although, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Men, men don't cry. Men don't cry, exactly. <laughs> that just doesn't happen. <laughs> what did you think when, you know, Mike came back into her office and, and they kind of had that next step where he said, you're off the hook. What did you think about that? I don't know that I I want to believe Mike but I know that Mike unlike Rachel holds on to the past and he keeps saying okay we're done let's move forward but then his actions aren't of that nature true true I agree yeah yeah, I don't. I don't. He, that's not out of his head. It's not. That yeah, is, it's that not. is at the forefront of his head with that relationship. Exactly. Uh, Which is so hard. Yeah, but, it's yeah. very. It's very hard. Yeah. But I did love that. You know, by the end of it, because Rachel did pull out his family photo album. Yeah. And was like, oh, I was looking for a picture of you. And at the end, we get to see that it's a picture with Mike, young Mike, with his mom and dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She brings to his office, and I guess that was kind of like a peace offering. I w- I'm as like, well. he has his own pictures. I don't get it, but whatever, girl. <laughs> do yeah. What you, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. do, but, you gotta do. I mean, I like that they were bringing up Mike's family because we got some of it, you True. know, season one, season early one. season, yeah. and then it kind of like trailed off because now we've been dealing with like people gunning after the firm True. so we haven't seen much of it so i like that they brought back that touch of it yeah anything else about mike and rachel that i want to talk about that was that pretty much sums it up yeah, yeah. they covered that in a they covered that in probably three scenes. Yeah, I yeah, think it was really, really Yeah, it, it wasn't overdone in this episode. Yeah, they had yeah. a lot else going on this episode. They had, I think this episode was like a huge Lewis episode yes. for obvious reasons. Yes, so yes. Lewis, um, you know, at the end of the last episode, he's come clean. 
to Jessica, mm-hmm. and Harvey has already figured out like that he did something shady with Forceman. So Lewis wants to go confess to the SEC about what he did and turn himself in. Jessica is like, no. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, you know, Lewis kind of gets on like this whole, I don't know, it was like a Lewis trying to be the hero and save the day, but also just not aware because Katrina had to let him know, hey, you know, Jessica's pulling a mafia trick on well, you right now. There was a certain so, point that he's such a soldier to that place because right. that's the only place he's ever known right. that for, for Jessica to say, no, sit tight, don't do anything. His initial instinct was like, okay, I'll do yeah. that. And then it took Very him. It stupid. took him somebody. It took him somebody else. And then he asked Donna. He asked Donna, yeah, "Does Harvey lied, int- yeah. does Harvey intend to fire me?" And I wrote half truth mm-hmm. Yeah. because mm-hmm. she was like, "No, Harvey does not intend to fire right. you." Yeah. But do you think Donna should have spilled the beans then, or do you think waiting <sighs> for Katrina to do it was a better was a better move? I don't think that. Here's the double edged sword in that Donna would have been helping Lewis out in that moment, but she might have gotten herself fired in that moment if she had told Lewis. Yeah, that's because true. if it had and gotten she, back to Jessica, that she knew. told was the one to tell him that mm-hmm. after Harvey yeah. told her information that she's probably not really supposed to know. Right. Mm-hmm. Then I think that Donna would have been jeopardizing her. Especially daughter. since, especially since she was like one more sentence away from being fired. Oh Which my gosh, intense. that's so scene. Oh. intense. Let me tell you, I wrote down like Donna always has someone who's back until she has to realize when to back down. And the yeah. thing is, Donna, I mean, I really don't remember any time that she's had to back down. Probably one other time with Jessica, but other than that, she always went to Harvey, she always went to, uh, you know, um, Rachel, mm-hmm. Mike, everyone. So when Jessica said, get out of my face, are you <laughs> I said, Gina Torres, woo! woo. She, I was scared. It, that girl, I don't know what acting class she went to, I'm serious, this girl, <laughs> when she channels that emotion and she gets fierce, no one can stop no her. No one can stop her. I thought I was about to get fired, and I don't even yes. work there. So. I'm like, I'm not going to law school. Forget it. <laughs> I, thought, like, I thought I was about to get fired from watching the show. You know, yeah. I like, you oh, I can't. are not understanding where I'm coming from. But Ooh. let's talk about the points Donna brought up. Because the points Donna brought yep. up to Jessica, the points Harvey even mm-hmm. ends up bringing yep. up to Jessica, are all valid points yep. of how Harvey has done exactly the same things yep. Lewis has done countless times before. Yep. How Jessica has put the firm in jeopardy before. How Donna even put the firm in jeopardy. Yep. But when it comes to Lewis, Jessica just flat out says, like, I don't believe in him that he's actually the guy who's going to get us and out of her. It. But the thing is, and his track record. That's says the thing. When that. she went to the through the track record, I was or track record. I was thinking, wow, Lewis has screwed up before. It's not like yeah. she's she, he screwed up a lot before. I mean, yes, Harvey and Donna, but even Donna, she screwed up what once, you know. Yeah. And yeah. and Harvey, yes, he has his countless screw ups. But there's a difference in terms of he always comes out on top. I mean, literally yeah. every single time. Well, and about, we can trust that. Well, the thing about Lewis's bat- batting record is he probably bats a thousand on his level, like on the guy who runs all the associates on that level, like a non-senior partner level. He probably bats a thousand. Right. But it seems every time he tries to branch into another league, he... It just doesn't work. It has This was probably the first time it's worked. Yeah. And it was too late. I mean, it didn't work. Yeah. 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 But I, I also think that a lot of those instances that Jessica brought up because she never believed in Lewis, she never even gave him the chance to... Yeah. You know, and it's like, you can't say that he's never going to make it like he, she's not giving him a chance to actually save himself yeah. and prove that he can that do what Harvey true, does because every single time they them two they, have had yeah. to step in oh my god that's as very soon true. as the mistake comes up yeah. it's like oh now I got to go save Lewis's butt yeah. again dang that is so true and so Lewis cannot win I do not understand <laughs> goodness gracious that is so true well he's learning as a person like like as I've as I've said, he always wants to be Harvey, but he's too much of a Boy Scout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when she said you're ruled by your emotions, it, like, that was the realest sentence. I'm thinking, okay, Lewis, seriously, everything you've done in terms of mistake has always been because of. I mean, a cat for goodness sake. What are we talking yeah. about? Here? You let a whole. That was a really crazy episode. I'm thinking. Yeah, that was. I remember mm-hmm. being really disappointed in him. So I mean, in that case, she was right, but. You know. She was dead right about letting him go but over this. This was the thing that was like, well, I'm surprised so? he wasn't fired in the room. Yeah, he should have been, but I think she I th- was. Well, that would have. I, yeah, I know why. Jeopardized the way the case. Well, that would have made. Yeah. That would have been a smoking gun yeah, to the oh, SEC. Yeah. Like, why oh, yeah. did you? Why did you fire him? Why did you fire him 
Oh, right after now. hours, right before you have to give us a bunch of documents. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. What did Lewis do? Let's start looking at the Lewis exactly. documents. Exactly. And Lewis does try to make amends with people there, too, because, you know, with Jeff Malone, he has, like, his mm -hmm. come-to-Jesus moment when he realizes that Jeff wasn't actually trying to use him to, mm -hmm. you know, take over his position. He was actually just trying to work closer to Jessica, who was, he was dating. Which is something he understands. Like, yeah. The one thing Lewis could actually relate I mean, to Jeff yeah. Malone with. But I think Jeff Malone really annoyed me this episode. Oh, God, Jeff Malone. I'm I mean, roll eye, people. I was over it. I'm like, okay, the hotness is not stick right now. I'm he over should, you. He should just quit. The, you know what I'm saying? He should you just quit this job. This. You cannot yeah. handle being with your girlfriend because literally if he has one more hissy fit about how she doesn't tell him everything, I'm going to scream. It's a, it's annoying. Yeah. And that's what I wrote in all my notes, like Jeff being a baby, Jeff yes. being a bigger baby, oh Jeff gosh. this. And then at the end of it, because you know, I was so focused on him being a baby that I wasn't even thinking of why Jessica didn't tell him. Exactly. I'm just thinking, it doesn't matter why she didn't tell it's, you. She's yeah. your boss. Yeah. And your yeah. boss and doesn't if, always tell you everything. And as a person, if you truly love this person, you should have enough loyalty and respect in that person that if she's not telling me why, there's probably a really good reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll come to light in this whole episode spanned, what, three days? Exactly, like, yeah. If, if you learn anything at Pierce Inspectors, that you'll probably figure it out. Yeah, I just exactly. wrote, Jessica, <laughs> Jessica now has to consider his feelings over and over again in every situation. Because remember when she was saying that she didn't tell him something because she didn't want him to have to lie? Yeah. And I'm thinking, she's, she's like looking out for you now, which is fine, I appreciate it, but it's annoying because she doesn't, she's trying to protect her firm. And you and your relationship and your... And your ego and whatever, it's messing things up. So, I don't know, Jeff. You're kind of disappointing me. Yeah, Jeff is disappointing me big time right now. Yeah. But hopefully now he sees because now that it's out in the open, maybe this was, like, the thing he needed to see. Like, she proved that she actually is thinking of their relationship mm -hmm. when she mm -hmm. makes these choices. He now has the evidence of that right. instead of her just doing it and being an unso unsung uh, hero. I think he's too much of an alpha to take that. I think that's deep down inside that's what it is. He's too much of an alpha that he can't see her as his boss. He sees her as his mm. mate and he's the alpha in this relationship. Do you I like think so. That? He should be he should understand that it's not the case. But <laughs> I think well that's the problem he ran into by taking this job with her, but I honestly think that that's the dynamic of that relationship and that at, at the office it'll just clash every time and I don't think he's going to survive. Yeah, I don't he, see this relationship going on too much longer. So or, would you rather him be in the relationship or be at the firm? Well, honestly, he hasn't really done, done much <laughs> like, like, besides like, complain about. I mean, he's found like the evidence, like okay. you know, tonight. Yeah. he's done little things, but he hasn't actually done his own solo exactly, case to actually exactly. show that he's worthy of right. being Which, there. I mean, right. in the suits world, we have to assume he does. Yeah, we have to assume so. he does have cases right. that just. Don't get airtime. Yeah, don't get airtime. That's for, for the, the web series. For the web series. <laughs> yeah, for the web series. He'll have, he'll have my pool of associates from the water cooler. <laughs> exactly. Handling oh, a man. case that's just not interesting that enough for awesome. suits. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much just Jessica and Malone yeah. right yeah. there. Right, right, right. And then, you know, you have Lewis who, I mean, his, his scenes with Katrina this week, I will say, were a little bit more dialed back. They haven't been as passionate as they were in past weeks. And I know we got a lot of user oh, comments yes. about yeah. about the whole Lewis <laughs> Jessica or not Lewis Jessica, Lewis, Lewis Katrina, Katrina, Lewis Donna whole debate that right. we have going on right, here. Right. Um so I loved reading those guys. <laughs> yes, Thank you. Keep please. them coming. Yeah, especially the Twitter too. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean it, you know, I might as well do this right now. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you leave us a comment below and subscribe to our YouTube page. If you're listening to us on iTunes, please go on um, online and subscribe, comment, leave us a message, tell us what you like and what you don't like. Let us know where you stand on this whole Lewis Katrina or <laughs> Lewis and Donna relationship. Or is Lewis right, even around Lewis anymore? I don't know. A no go, yeah. Or the that actor on another show. Yeah. <laughs> where are we? Like somewhere in the world. Right. Where is Lewis? Tell us where you think Lewis is now. Right. Um, what do you guys think is going to happen with Katrina? I wrote, what's happening with Katrina? Uh, <laughs> I was really, I'm like, no, she doesn't have her dude. I think that her. she just kind of gets passed on to another, another partner. Of another or partner. if she's done a good enough job under Lewis, she might, she might wind up where, or no, I guess. You guys are forgetting the I fact get, that yeah. if Jessica finds out Katrina oh, well, yeah. knew. Oh, it's game please. over for Katrina. Uh, she's going to know. She's going to say I'm something a, like, you're in my corner, you're in my eye, you know, I appreciate your loyalty, but 
your loyalties to me. I can just see that speech happening. I can see you're saying that your loyalties now to me, but I think that Jessica, I don't think that Katrina is getting fired over this. I think that she's I don't think be, she's getting fired. Because no. I think that it shows, you know, Jessica that she is a loyal person. Mm -hmm. And those are the kind of people that Jessica looks for in her corner. True, because true. Because she knows how much Harvey and her screw things up. Exactly. And, you know, Mike knows all the seedy things that right. Harvey's done. Right, right. And, you know, he's still not getting fired right, over anything. Right. So. Katrina could become Jeff's associate. Ooh. And then get in between this. Yeah. I, I was saying that I think Mike's going to be comforting her a lot because she'll probably be missing Lewis and he'll mm. be saying, oh mm -hmm. yeah, I miss her too, or I miss him too, and he's the one who got me the job, and Rachel will be outside the window. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to <laughs> jump into predictions, but, wow. but I'm just, wow. just kind of feeling that. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, <laughs> I want to talk about this SEC case. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is where things got good. Yes. Yes. Last so night. Good. I was like jaw dropped, excited about all this. Yeah. So um, Harvey first you know, after he learns about the whole Lewis thing, he goes to Forceman and mm -hmm. tries to, like, you know, demand him to undo what he did and get Lewis out of this because Forceman's fight is with Harvey, not mm -hmm. Lewis. Mm -hmm. And I love that Harvey went down there and that he said this. Even though he's super pissed yeah. off at Lewis, the fact that he's, you know, acknowledging that, you know, this isn't really Lewis's fault because, you know, Jessica even said, like, no, no one forced him to do it. He's like, you've never made a deal with force men before. Like, right. Yeah, the, you're forced into you're things. Forced, right. You're forced into things. Right. And so I love that Harvey defended Lewis yeah, without really I think, so. he, I think well, he Because did. Harvey can understand a deal with Forceman, and then Forceman even says, just like I did to you 12 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And one of these days... Right. We're gonna find out what, that, what that was. What happened? Oh, like, Twelve years ago. What was that? Exactly. What does, happened? Yeah. Does Harvey have a million dollars in a bank account? Yeah. Like, what is happening? Not what's happening? Or what's happening? I mean, he gets all those night nice suits. You never know. I <laughs> mean, I, suits. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you know, so they have to brainstorm how to make this say it's the next morning. The files are supposed to be turned over to the court. So you know, Mike comes in as the hero, yep. and he's like, "We're gonna start our prosecution mm -hmm. of." you know, the, of Cahill mm -hmm. and Woodall while they're going through the files to slow them down, yeah. you know, to distract them from looking at that. Right. Um, and so we get into this whole deposition and it's um, Woodall, who was it? Woodall was up first, right? Um, yeah, Woodall, yeah. yep. Yeah, so that got very intense yep. very quickly. Oh, yes. Yep, yep. And it also got ended very quickly. Oh. It scared me a little bit because a lot of secrets were revealed in that one, you know, in that mm, one yeah. moment. I mean, I was like, wait, he, how did he poke to Mike's secret in this deposition? Like, I had no idea yeah. that was Yeah, funny. That was so slick. He was saying, why have you never applied anywhere? I'm like, oh, my God, Mike, how is this back on you? That, that part. Because well, yeah, they're going for collusion so. between them. Right, mm -hmm. right, And that right. would be the logical. But what I find interesting is that that's probably to investigate Mike because he didn't go to law school is such a ridiculous notion to anyone in that world. Yeah. That it that that's not what they were getting at. That right. they were literally like, no, you colluded and now you're and back you to this firm. Yeah. I guess for me, I was, you know. Well, because yeah, the first time I that's watched the scene, find. that's what I thought, but I immediately rewound it and watched it again. And he says after he was fired from where he was yeah. working before, then he didn't apply anywhere else. He came straight here. Right. So he's not even looking back into like the law yeah, school, like out of law school, right. you didn't apply anywhere. It but was that just, said, it gave you an imminent danger that if they, yeah, if they don't, decided. if they don't stop this in like four days, they'll just, they'll just investigate Start. Mike and everything. figure it all they out. They'll find mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, but you know, luckily Jessica did have, um, Jeff Malone do some research and find some dirt on Woodall. He found some emails from Jim Pembry. Um, basically, Woodall saying like, "I don't care what it takes. Find something. Mm. He's guilty. I wanted. I want this yeah. in the bag." And that was two years before he even went yeah. over. Went after. Yeah, literally. This, if it's jaywalking, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. something, that something, anything. So I mean, that was two years before he even went to court for this other trial that they're using as an example mm -hmm. so i mean that was enough for jessica and harvey to be like okay well great you know you can end this thing and off the record malone or not malone oh my gosh there's Woodall. so many names Woodall, Woodall does say yeah i'm coming after you because i think you're guilty and i'm gonna get but you for thinking, something 
thinking they're guilty and them actually being guilty is the part that I feel like Woodall does not understand the line. He was very much, if I feel you're guilty, then you're guilty. And it's like, I thought there was another process. I thought there <laughs> no. was the Constitution. I didn't know that he, you were no, the one making the rules. Know, he is the Constitution. You know what I mean? I'm like, Woodall, I need you to back back a little bit because you don't actually, uh, everything comes from hate or envy or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's nothing, there's nothing tangible. From a legal standpoint, I believe the Constitution would give him the right to just be a complete a-hole about it. Really? That I think legally he kind of, within reason has the right to maliciously prosecute them. Oh. As the SEC, mm. they have the right to do what they did, which is to just attack back. Right. But as a government agent, that you do have that right. Well, he says. In the, I know he. That's why people like him shouldn't be government agents. True. Yeah. True. Abuse of power. Right. Um. So when we go to court the next day, that's when Lewis is there, and Jessica's like, "Get out of my face! I don't want to see you here. I told you to lay low." And then this is when Lewis really gets an eye opener that you know Jessica is gonna fire him probably because just the way she talked to him. Oh yeah. In that moment, it's like, okay, Lewis knows for sure he's getting fired, um, but the court doesn't quite go in Jessica's favor because then they bring up that she's been in a relationship with Jeff Malone since he was working at the SEC. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, they're kind of questioning the ethics and morals in that whole transaction as well. Yeah. Which is that fair to do? Like, I don't, I don't know how the law works in this case and how people's personal relationships. They were, I mean, they were going for the gun. They were going for well, anything they, that they could were, stick. And the case they were trying to make was that they were trying to make a case of collusion due to personal relationships. Right, right. So to prove that she had a personal relationship with someone in the SEC while the SEC was investigating them or about to investigate them. Isn't a bad call. That, it, that's relevant. Yeah, it's, it's fair. It's just... Unfortunate. It was unfortunate because <laughs> right. I mean we're talking about Jessica here, and you yeah. think she can very do very well kept secret. Yes, as well. mm-hmm. very. I mean honestly, when Lewis like lit up like that, I I realized that no one actually knew. Yeah, that was yeah. the moment I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. wait. Oh my God, we're the only people who know because you know we know to for we're, so yeah, long. We're the so audience. I was thinking, we know. Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, everyone knows it's not a big deal. Was, and then Lewis's face got me. I was like, Oh my gosh, right. no one knows but Harvey. It was this Harvey. Is so funny. It was Harvey and Donna. I think were the only yeah. people at the office. Yeah, who knew. And that was crazy. Maybe Mike. I don't think Mike knew. I Mike wasn't Mike, working there yeah, long Mike, enough. Mike even, wasn't a part yeah, of it. He, but, has he even officially met Jeff? Like, probably <laughs> I don't not. think they've been on screen even, together. Yeah, exactly. So now that I'm thinking on Instagram, it. they have <laughs> next week. <laughs> yeah. Definitely on their Instagram. On Instagram, <laughs> yes. Um, but I just thought that maybe have. I mean, because at this point, yes, she was in a relationship. But like the de- if you really broke down the details of their relationship, you'd know that you know they started They're dating. In a business be- transaction. Yeah, before the SEC was going after them. As mm-hmm. soon as the SEC said we're going after you, he decided to leave mm-hmm. and go work for them. So it's like, when could anything but that wrong been, have been? Yeah. But happening? the idea would be collude. Yeah. Yeah. The- because at that point, doubt. and at that point, the judge wasn't looking for an Hard actual facts. smoking gun. They were just—he was looking for a reason to move forward. Which that's a pretty that good—that's a, yeah. a pretty good one to move forward. Right. Yeah. Which is what they didn't want. Yeah. So <laughs> they move forward, and they're like, "Hey, it's our turn to bat now." Mike and Harvey, you're up for your deposition. Exactly. I have to say that Harvey starts off with like a great line. He says some because they were like, "You guys were fighting." He's like, "Sometimes <laughs> brothers fight." I. <laughs> I think I cried. I was like, oh, that was awesome. The, the, and then his look to the Mike. Look, I was like, it was my perfect. heart just broke. I fell in love a little bit more with yeah, Harvey Specter. It was back to the way I wanted yeah, it to be. I, I was loved like, it. My boys are I back. Like Lauren would be really happy right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. She knows how I stress I get when they fight. It, gets, it just gets on my nerves. So I loved when he said that. He just, he just put it all together. Yeah, and, said, and just the whole time because, you know, Cahill was really going after, going hard on Mike about, you know, how he left the firm, Mm -hmm. he didn't succeed, his first big acquisition, he failed, he got fired, he, you know, left the guy high and dry. And Harvey comes to Mike's defense is like, he did awesome out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he just had these huge analogies. I'm like, what are they talking about? What is going on? (laughs) Oh, I had to rewind a couple times. (laughs) Yeah. But I thought it was so great because I was like, okay, this is... Harvey, this episode, I mean, you know, first he's defending Lewis, he's defending Mike. Yeah. Harvey is being Papa Harvey and yeah. taking care of his boys, his family. Agreed. Ultimately. Agreed. Love that description. Yeah. 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 So I was very happy with this. But in the deposition, they answered, what question was it that they answered? And it kind of was like, oh, it's like, no, none of them we, got paid. yeah, it's like none of us got paid. Yeah. Yep. And then that's when K.O. goes, boom. 
Somebody but got someone paid. did. But the thing is, I wanted to know. I couldn't figure out how he realized someone had to have gotten paid. Like, is it possible for no one to have gotten paid? I think that it was yeah. kind of right. like how Donna in the bathroom with Lewis, if Lewis had really been listening to what she said, she said, no, Harvey yeah. has no intention. Yeah. And Cahill was just really listening. And they said, we did not get paid. Yeah. Or yeah. neither of us got paid. He's like, okay. So well, he it's said not no one got paid or he, something like that? I think if he had left something out, if it was like, no, there was no payment. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's like, no, we didn't get paid. Right. So now he's thinking, okay, I'm going to read in between the lines because Dang. he's not yeah. letting his emotions get in the way like mm-hmm. Lewis. Mm-hmm. So he heard that and was like, okay, that means someone did. And I'm going to find out who it was. That was, that was yeah. pretty swaggy on Cahill's part. I was yeah. like, man, I was he like, does it ooh. again. What is up with that hair? I was like, ooh, Mike and Harvey, <laughs> y'all messed up. I, I just, <laughs> when he did that, I was thinking, wow. I just said so many secrets revealed in one moment. How? I just, that was good on his part. But Yeah. You know. I mean, he vows to find it. He's like, he says, you can't hide money from the SEC. And I was, I was like, like, all right. I was like, I'm pretty sure people do it all the time. I know. I'm like, you're just it looking just, at these people today. Yeah, like, Tomorrow. It just <laughs> takes you a while to find it. I mean, eventually <laughs> you might find it. But it could be 20 okay, years from now, now, you know, and, and someone had a great life. Right. <laughs> someone, had a great, <laughs> someone had a great life in those 20 years we're while you weren't looking and, for yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Family's inheriting it all. Like, man, that's funny. Yeah. And then, I mean, they also put together again that Cahill was having... Jeff Malone fo- followed um, mm. again without permission, but and so they go down there to try and confront him about this, um, and that's when they find out that Lewis actually came down here and Kale's like, "Don't send your little rats down here to mm-hmm. fake confess to me," mm-hmm. and it's like, "Wait a minute, isn't that the one thing Jessica told you not to do, Lewis?" Well, and that's why his track record looked the way it did well, when she said that speech at the end. I. He doesn't listen. And the thing is, he listens at the wrong time, and he does the right thing at the wrong time. He does the wrong thing at the right time. I mean, he's just, he's just like, on it, in his own world. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't I know. I think he was, but he was at the right point. He was at the right point that this was his sword to fall on. It, it was worked his out, mis- but it was he his didn't mistake. know it was going to work out. He did not know that was going to work out. Because it worked out in a way that his secret ended up revealing Woodall's yeah, secret. But, but come on, that could have went totally left field. But that was the one time he made a mistake versus his otherwise true north moral compass. And, like, that was eating him alive that it was like, no, the right thing to do is to just confess. Yeah. Because, I mean, he did read the transcripts and he knows that they are going, that now they're looking for who got paid. Exactly. So at this point, it is almost like, well, what's there left to lose besides me going down there to confess? Of course, Woodall intercepts him Mm -hmm. and, you know, I guess sends him home. Which is like, yeah. wait a minute, what? You just confess? And then says, we're not interested in big fish. We're not in interested small in small fish. And I wrote, one million dollars is or, or, that's <laughs> small fish. I mean, it's good if, to know. If you right. really think about it, a million dollars could be spent in a day. Yeah. What day? Like a Tuesday? A Tuesday. I could... I could spend a million yeah. dollars in less than a Go day. Go and get it. I could make that happen. You Buy a house right. in L.A. and it's gone. You are. Right. And you're yeah, not even getting so a great fair. house. Like, Seriously. you're getting, like, a two-bedroom, <laughs> like, one and a half bath. It just happens to have a nice living room. I yeah. mean, man. Or it's move. just, like, in Encino, and so it's like, oh, we're going to mark up the price. <laughs> like, that's all it takes for a million so dollars to get funny. to yeah. Wow, that's so, so funny. So, I mean, I guess, you know, that is, if it's right. $10 million, that's a different. We're talking. That's a different, different. story. Still yeah. Might take might take me a week. That's still enough. You guys that it are would be big. W- I need to. Really, <laughs> you know, I'll be through shopping at the thrift store. So in my head, not about a million cash. A yeah. If I had if I had if a million I, cash, I'm not shopping there anymore. Right. So that's H&M, why it's going to come. Yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. That's why it's going to be spent real quick. <laughs> um, but you know, Lewis, of course, you know, thinks that he did the right thing, and he's like, "You guys should be thanking me. I went there and I confessed and I tried to turn myself in." And then Harvey and Jessica are like, "Wait a minute." You did what? And they sent you home? Like, why aren't yeah. you, yeah, like, why haven't you been arrested? So now they start thinking, wait a minute. How maybe Woodall and Forsman are in this together? Also, I was trying to figure out, did Woodall be- know about Lewis already? Is that why he reacted the way he did? Or he just didn't care? I wasn't he sure. Knew how Forsman think, does, he knew how yeah. Forsman does deals. But did he know about that deal? That's what I was trying to figure Probably out. Probably not. Okay. I, so he, he probably just, fi- he probably didn't know for sure. He probably figured that's how that deal went. But yeah. he was after he was after Harvey. He was after the whole firm. He wasn't after Lewis. So he was like, okay, whatever. Because I understood then, why he defended him. I just wanted to know: did he defend it because um, Forsman said, by the way, like this is what I did with Lewis, or did he do it? And he can't go after Forsman because yeah. he's also in bed with Forsman. That he can't go yeah. after Forsman at all. I mean, that's true. So 
That's why Forceman is still around doing it. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so I'm going to save this. But, okay, so what we find out is that Forceman made contributions to three different senators. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mike and Harvey stay up all night trying to find the link. Mm -hmm. Lewis, you know, was up all night trying to find the link, too. They find this link that, you know, he made contributions, and they're the ones who appointed Woodall as the head of the New York office for the SEC. Mm -hmm. And so they go down there to see if they can flip Cahill. And so my question with all this is once we learned that Woodall's in bed with Forceman, so, but who initially sent Woodall after Harvey? Or was, because I'm, I can't remember exactly, because before when Harvey got Woodall fired from his last job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Why was that initially, why was he initially going after Harvey in that moment? Oh man, what was that? I can't remember what brought him into the picture. If it was just random, like, accusations again I or if like it, it was, was a, a legit a, thing because remember in that i'm i'm thinking is that season like two three it was probably it was three. last season three. it okay. was last season yeah it was All last right. season so what happened last season i'm trying there was no was there that what's the girl's name no 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 it wasn't her i'm thinking no. like the powerful woman they dealt with oh you know what that I was, think it was, that was a little bit case, to do, yeah yeah i think it was a little bit to do after she left right, it was right? that now they were thinking that there was collusion because they represented mm-hmm. both sides. Okay, yes, now I remember. Yes. Okay, because I was thinking it had to do something with that, whatever big case was happening at yeah. that time. Right. Okay. So, all right. I guess that makes sense then. Yeah. So now, you know, he gets fired and then, you know, Forceman finds him in a sewer somewhere right. drinking his sorrows mm-hmm. away. Give and like, hey, I hate Harvey Specter as much as you do. You want to get back at him? This is what you have to do. And I'm going to make you get there. Gosh. And I could just see that happening. Yeah. Like a so seedy alleyway, you know, yes. um, or a dive <laughs> bar. What is what? You can't <laughs> tell me nothing because I don't really care. Uh, anyway. Look, yeah. That's my enforcement. <laughs> <Forceman. laughs> <It's fun>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they present this evidence to Cahill. And K- well, they first give him the document that he yeah. would be looking for. And he's like, why are you doing this? Yeah. They're like, look, if we're right, then you'll know it because he mm-hmm. won't let you, Woodall won't let you look in his bank account. If we're wrong, we just handed you everything you, what you're looking yeah. to take us down. Yeah. So what are we really getting out of this? Yeah. Like, why would we be lying to you right, right now? Right, right, right. So, of course. That he, was scary. That, that was, was scary. Yeah, yeah, that was. I literally wrote in all caps, lawyered. <laughs> nice, you really did. Just like, boom, Just, lawyered. Because that was a really intense moment. I was thinking they got to have a lot of faith in, the, in their idea and their, you know, yeah. their, yeah. And it, it was a big leap, and luckily they all they right. won. Yeah. Um, you know, I love that as, you know, they're walking out the room, Harvey just <laughs> goes in Woodall's ear and is like, in about five minutes when you need a lawyer, a good lawyer, <laughs> Don't, don't call, call me. me. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yes, Harvey. I was like, man. I was like, Mike were... walked by and said his little one line. Yeah. I was like, everyone just everyone like. Everyone was too swaggy. I was... And remember at the end of last season when they all walked out of the, mm-hmm. you know, the same situation with Woodall face on the floor. And I just love it. They all had the trench coats last time. But anyway, whatever. <laughs> the suits are still good. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, they get back to the office and, you know, everyone's happy. Right. Lewis did come in and pull be be the clutch you know he ultimately yeah. did save this yeah. and just that look between him and harvey and harvey just without any words just like i'll do my best like well, i'm gonna i I'm couldn't gonna hear right. what what he said i literally tried to repeat that part three times what did lewis say to harvey before he said i'll try did i don't think he got know? any words out well, i remember sound, they, like i, I remember they had a throwaway line that was he should get hartman they were talking yeah about, he should get hartman to represent him no, nobody can yeah, represent a hilarious. criminal better than a criminal. Yeah, that was hilarious. I, and I want to say it went straight into "I'll help you," or just, "I'll do what I can." Like I just couldn't. I, guess. I think he. I felt like he was starting to say something, and Harvey just being Harvey was like, "I got you. I'm gonna take care of yeah. it." Yeah, you know, because he really thought he could. Yeah, and then he goes in there, and Jessica's like, "Look, let him up. I, I made my decision. Mm. I'm sticking to it. I'm a woman of my word, Seriously. and you're not changing my mind. Harvey, I always think he has power, and then he gets next to Jessica, and I'm thinking, you don't have as much power. It's just power like with Donna, Jessica you runs think that whole place. Yeah, yeah. Goodness. like everyone has power up to a certain until point to their next until person. you're next right. with Jessica, matched with Jessica, yes. and she's just gonna. Remind you, you down. baby heart, um, Donna, you cute, but you the secretary. Yeah. Thank that, you. I mean, that was the first moment I'd seen Donna as the secretary. She said, I will fire you. And yeah. I was thinking, Donna, get back to your desk. <laughs> <laughs> now. Exactly. Because yeah. I was like, ooh, how would Harvey do deal with that if Jessica just fired 
Donna. He'd have to. No, he'd be, be. That would. There would just too much blow up. That I was all too much. I mean, because Jessica even threatened to fire Harvey. Mm-hmm. Too, and, and I was like, she I was like, his, I was like, his name's on the door now. Does <laughs> she have that she's power Jessica. still? She would be the bigger name partner. It doesn't, oh. but that's She'd the thing. The Why is she name. the biggest name partner now? She's I mean, they're supposed the, to be because she's also managing. Because she, she would like, be the right. ma- ma- managing partner. Would be the word. Oh, yeah. okay, the, okay. The, there'd okay. be two name partners, one managing partner. Gotcha. And the, she'd be the managing partner probably because she owns more, more. shares. Or bought into the company more than everybody else mm-hmm. by virtue of working there the longest. She has. I mean, she's definitely works. screwed up the least, works the longest, dresses the cutest. I mean, yeah, yeah. I get it. But. <laughs> but I think part of the reason we talk about how, not infallible, but how she clearly has the most power in that building is because she delegates it so well. True. That True. you don't, that, that she doesn't throw it around every day. Yeah. Yeah. That it's like once every, se- once every <laughs> season. Where it's like, oh wait, she could literally fire all y'all. She could literally <laughs> yeah. fire everyone in the building and say, "I'm taking people from Temple University right now," <laughs> which that's my alma mater. Oh, we should, she it. should. I mean, sorry, it's Harvard or nothing. It really is Harvard or nothing. Gosh. Um, well, Harvey goes. He wants to be the one to tell Lewis that you know he's getting fired, but Lewis has resigned. He leaves a letter. It's a beautiful, mm. it beautiful letter. Yeah. Um, did you write down some of it? I see you looking at uh, your notes. A little Steve. bit, just. I wrote this place is all he has, which is what I've yeah. kind of said to begin with. And then the big part I remembered was I refused to put either of you through, through the, the pain, pain of firing me. Yeah. yeah. Which was, I was kind of thinking if Jessica would have done it, I don't feel like she would have felt anything. Yeah. But I appreciate that he at least thought Harvey would feel that, I guess. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I love that Harvey said, I want to go tell him because you want to go tell him that his yep. services are no, no longer needed. And I, I want to tell, tell him, him goodbye. goodbye. Yeah. That was so and, nice. And then you read Lewis's letter and he's like, I don't want to put either one of you through that. And I know Jessica's angry right now and that, you know, that is a true emotion for her to have and it's allowable but like when you compare the two of like harvey being like you're gonna tell him like his services are no longer needed i want to tell him goodbye and lewis tells them both goodbye and jessica's just so angry and like yeah but that was i love that he resigned instead of waited for his dignity to be shattered all over the place yes yeah oh um we just got a tweet at quit nagging said that lewis said please to harvey Oh. And then that's what Harvey oh, okay. said. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, so because thank I you for that. I repeated that three times. I'm like, what are you saying? Dude? Yeah, I just got over it. Oh man, good stuff. Good, good stuff, stuff, right? Gotcha. So Lewis is gone. What's going to happen next week? Let's get into predictions. Yes. Let's do it. Gosh. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. So, in that little teaser that we saw, there's no signs of Lewis yep. in it, and it looks like everyone's screaming at Mike all of a sudden. Yep. It's like this week, everyone's screaming at Lewis because he did something so crazy that, like, what did you do? And now it's Mike. What did you do? Right. So, what? What? Did, what I don't like what happens. Um, I actually <laughs> I didn't don't. see. The, I actually didn't see the teaser. Oh gosh. So, because. Partly because I had stuff to do, but partly yeah. because I do I do have a rule about trying not to watch trailers watch and mm-hmm. teasers for things I know mm-hmm. I'm just gonna watch. Yep, that's yeah. true. Where it's like, oh, you should see the new trailer for this movie. It's the, I'm I'm gonna, I'm watch, gonna watch that watch. movie. Yeah, that's true. Um, my prediction would be the the Jeff Malone of it all. We're probably gonna get a lot more of that next week. Mm. I would like to see him quit. Yeah, I wrote down. Not sure if Jessica and Jeff are gonna make it. Ooh. Ooh. I, I, I like the them to make I think it. they're gonna make it. I think he's gonna quit. Okay, well one or the other. But I like I the fact I like the idea of Jeff Malone quitting after Lewis has quit because they both are, were, were the there for guys. the yeah. numbers guys. So what do they do without Ooh. a numbers guy? Do we get a numbers girl? Hmm? Ooh. Because uh, we get a new chick? I mean, I don't know what, what happened. She'll probably get fired in two months if Jess got anything to say about him. Yeah. <laughs> you know. uh, but, I mean, another s- exciting news um, it was announced this week that it did get, p- that Suits got picked, picked up, up for, for season yes. five. So, yes. so, at least, oh, you know. I mean, of course they did. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, mean, what are we I wasn't do even worried. Them? Like, please. I wasn't worried. Patrick about J. It. Adams, I'm going to see yeah. you soon. And I will say that um, the creator, Aaron Korsh, was tweeting out last night, and I tweeted to him. Um, about how excited I was to talk about Suits tonight on the after show, and he replied to me and said thanks. Oh. And I was like, oh, he said <laughs> something back! So 
like so cute. Um, that is so great. Yeah, so I, I like fangirled out in that moment at like twelve nice. thirty as I was laying my <laughs> eyes down to sleep. I was like, oh my gosh, he he does I talk to his that. fans. Yeah, I love so, that. So I mean, I'm very excited to see what we get next week. Uh, make sure you guys let us know what you think is going to happen in the first half of the season finale um where can they find you guys on social media you guys can check me out on twitter and instagram at one take stays you can check me out at steve kaufman k-a-u-f-m-a-n-m and you can find after buzz all over the interwebs at after buzz tv and i can be found on twitter and instagram at the tiana hobson thank you so much for joining us tonight we will see you next week for the suits summer season finale yes (laughs) I'm Gosh. excited for that. <laughs> From executive Seriously. producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.